What's going on gamers? It's Fox2. Today we're back on Call of Duty Ghosts playing some free-for-all. Uh, the gameplay is pretty decent. It's nothing spectacular, but I'm using the FAD with the silencer and red dot. Uh, this is one of my first gameplays using this gun and I really like it. I'm going to spend some more time with this gun. The rate of fire on this thing is so high that uh, if your aim is on, you can just kill people so quickly. It's incredible. Uh, so I would highly recommend trying this setup. Like I said, it's FAD silencer red dot combo and it works out really well. A little sleight of hand action for the perk. Uh, give it a shot. So anyway, on to what I want to talk about and that's Call of Duty. Call of Duty as a whole, as a brand, uh, is making a huge, huge change from what we're used to. Okay, Call of Duty as we know it is based around this. Activision is the publisher and Treyarch and Infinity Ward take turns each year releasing a new Call of Duty title. Okay, it was Modern Warfare 3, uh, then Black Ops 2, and now Ghosts. And you all know the history before that, blah, blah, blah. But that being said, each firm, Treyarch or Infinity Ward, gets two whole years to develop their next title. Well, that may seem like a lot to a lot of people that are not familiar with software development or uh, anything like that. Two years is not very long. There's a lot of beta testing, bug testing, um, you know, deve different developments that need to happen to really make any huge, huge changes to the gameplay or the game interfaces. And that's a big part of why Call of Duty has been running on the same engine as long as it has been. Why the game is very, very similar every year because they have a tight time frame that doesn't allow a ton of testing, okay? Two years is not that much time. So what Activision has decided to do is to bring in a third firm to create Call of Duty. So the next Call of Duty that we will see will not be produced by Treyarch. It will not be produced by Infinity Ward. Instead, it will be produced by Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, you may have heard the name before, helped create Modern Warfare 3. So what does that mean for Call of Duty? Is it going to be like Modern Warfare 3? I'm honestly, I'm not 100% sure. But what it does tell me is that Sledgehammer even though it was just recently announced, has had three years once the next game once the next game actually is released, they will have had three years to produce this Call of Duty. That is very, very good for the franchise. So then when Treyarch follows after that, they will have had three years. So every every firm will then get I don't know how this guy insta killed me like that, but anyway. Uh, every firm will have had three years to produce and program the Call of Duty title that they're working on. What does this mean for us? This means, hopefully, better spawn algorithms, more balanced weapons, less glitches where you fall through the map or can get into the map somehow, less bugs where, you know, zombies mode or whatever the next zombies equivalent is, where there's bugs in that or, or anything like that. Hopefully, dedicated servers could potentially come into the mix now. It's it's really, you know, potentially a new gaming engine as a whole. We, we just have to wait and see. But altogether, I think that this is a very, very good move. It's a huge step forward for the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, these are the kind of steps that they're going to have to continue to make consistently to be able to stay at, as a leader of the pack um, for first-person shooters. You know, they've been arguably the, you know, the alpha alpha dog of, of first-person shooter games for quite some time. I mean, yes, there are other titles. There's the Battlefield titles. There's the Halo that had its heyday. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting some. But anyway, it's hard to stay on top, you know. It's hard to constantly innovate, and this is something that they need to do if they want to be able to compete with the new games that are coming out, the, the new Battlefield games. Uh, Titanfall. Titanfall is going to be potentially a very, very good title. Um, unfortunately, it's an Xbox exclu exclusive, so we'll have to see how that gets countered by, uh, by the Sony, Sony team for PlayStation 4. We'll just have to wait and see. But 
Like I said, all in all, I think what this equates to is a better gaming experience for those of us that are tried and true Call of Duty fans that regardless of what the hype around the game is, are going to at least purchase the game and try it out every single year. You know, even if I'm unsure of the title, I will purchase Call of Duty just because I'm a fan of the brand and I will, uh, I'll give it a shot and see, see what I think. You know, I've been very vocal that Ghosts is not one of my favorite Call of Duties and that's fine. I still go and play it. And that doesn't mean that I can't go back and play Black Ops 2, which was one of my favorite uh, Call of Duties. So I, am, I, for one, am extremely excited to see what Sledgehammer has come up with over a three-year development period. Um, hopefully something that's very bug-free, something that ha does not have a lot of glitches, uh, and that has a great multiplayer community online experience. Uh, that's about it for the gameplay. If you like the video, make sure to leave a comment, throw a like on it, and uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome and have a great day.